Welcome to Chasing Truth, a show produced for those who love and deeply value the truth. I'm glad you're with me today. We're going to talk about signs and wonders and miracles thanks to Jesus. Now, we all need power and wisdom to navigate successfully in this broken world that we live in. And Pentecost marked the coming of that empowerment and acumen for successful living. It was the Pentecost following the death of Jesus at Passover that the long-awaited Holy Spirit came and changed everything. Since then, signs and wonders and even miracles break forth for those who believe. Now I'm going to jump right into Acts chapter 2 and verse 22. It's a beautiful uh, uh, statement here concerning Jesus. In fact, I'll be reading 22 through 24. But listen closely. Signs and wonders follow those who believe in Jesus. Those who are proclaiming that Jesus is the risen Messiah are also the ones that have this phenomenon, uh, this spiritual power filling and following their lives. Acts 2, 22. Men of Israel, listen to these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. Now, just stop there and think about this. God was performing signs and wonders and miracles through Jesus. He did that through Jesus. Jesus was filled with signs and wonders. He was a miracle worker. Why? Because God had attested that he was the Messiah, the Son of God, who would come and atone for the sin of the world and liberate us and give us life, life eternal. And I want to say that Jesus is alive. He's risen from the dead. That's why the signs and the wonders and the miracles continue to this very day. Nothing's changed. Jesus has ascended. He's in heaven. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. And the signs of his Messiahship are today as real as they've ever been. Let me go on. Verse 23. This man, delivered over by the predetermined plan and foreknowledge of God, you nailed to a cross by the hands of godless men and put him to death. But God raised him up again, putting an end to the agony of his death, since it was impossible for him to be held by its power. Jesus is the Messiah. Nothing could hold him in the grave. God, by the power of his Spirit, raised him from the grave. And since his resurrection, he, God, has been filling those who love and believe in his Son with the power of his Spirit. Signs and wonders and even miracles follow those who believe. I want to talk just a little bit about our Shavuot this year, our Shavuot Pentecost 2019. We do it at Denver Central Park every year. It's kind of a citywide uh, event, but we had a great time. Messianic Jews, Messianic Gentiles coming together to celebrate the giving of the Torah and the outpoured spirit, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit for our lives. We had a great time. We had some uh, very, very ancient liturgy. Uh, along with music and worship, we had a great dance, a big dance fest, and a lot of joy, and then some teaching, of course. And at the end of our event, we just said, hey, let's pray for a fresh new infilling of the Holy Spirit. We did this at the end of the event. We had our leaders come through and pray for just anybody and everybody that just wanted a fresh new infilling of the Spirit, the presence of the living God. One man was standing there, uh, uh, late, teen, late teens, um, and uh, um, uh, he, you know he'd been in, in a car wreck uh, months earlier, and his neck was jacked. He had kind of a whiplash deal, some damage done to his, his back, and so he's just been kind of uh, really battling some, some chronic pain uh, related to this accident. Uh, in fact, he has migraines, and, and even when we went to pray for him, he had mentioned that he'd just been all day long with migraines, ongoing pain from his neck down through his lower back. Uh, one of our prayer leaders actually got my attention. He, he's an elder and also a medical doctor, and he asked me to come over and pray with him for this young man. So we did. We prayed for him. And we just began to lay our hands on him and on the top of his head. We said, Holy Spirit, come. Jesus, in your name, we pray for a fresh new infilling for this young man, uh, for his needs. And we just said, Holy Spirit, come. Fill him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. And we just waited a few moments as we just waited on God and, and uh, just being responsive to what God was wanting to do. And, 
And I asked him, I said, are you sensing anything? Are you feeling anything? And uh, he just kind of looked at me and uh, he said, uh, my headache's gone. My, my migraine is like, it's gone. He says, I, I don't have any pain in my head anymore. And I said, really? He says, yeah. And I said, well, let's keep praying. And so we did. We, we continued to pray for his neck. We laid hands on his neck and we said, Holy Spirit, come and just, just touch this area where there's been damage. And it was amazing. We asked him again, are you sensing anything, feeling anything? He goes, the pain in my neck is gone. He says, it's gone too. And he was like, he was just, he was kind of surprised, a little bit shocked. And I said, well, how's your lower back? And he says, well, my back's still hurting. And I said, well, let's pray for that too. And we laid hands on his back. We just said, Holy Spirit, come and into this area of his back and just heal him from the damage that has been done. And we just continued to pray for him. And, and sure enough, he said, the pain is gone. The pain is gone. He says, I have no pain in my back, my lower back, my upper back. I have no pain in my neck. The migraine is gone. And we just rejoiced with him. It was, it was just really a wonderful, wonderful experience. And, and to see him, um, you know, being impacted by the presence of the outpoured spirit was just, it was just priceless, man. I was just thanking God. I've been riding on that for the last uh, week and a half, two weeks. What a powerful, powerful move of God in this young man's life. I want to say this. Jesus is alive. He has risen. He's ascended into heaven. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. And he has sent his Holy Spirit, just like he promised, for all those who believe, for healing, for wholeness, for the empowerment to live our lives in this broken world, to live in the context of his kingdom and his kingdom ways. So I have a question for you. What about you? Do you believe this? Do you need a fresh new infilling of the Holy Spirit? If you do, I just want you to do this in faith. I want you to just lift your hands towards me. Just lift your hands towards me in faith and believe Jesus for a fresh new infilling of the Holy Spirit right now, right now, right now. Just say after me, hands extended towards me. Just say after me, Jesus, I come to you. Just say it out loud, Jesus, I come to you. I confess you are the Messiah, my Messiah. I need a fresh new infilling of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, come and baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Immerse me in the Holy Spirit from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I need and yearn for the Holy Spirit. I need healing. I need deliverance. I need breakthrough. I need your love and I need your power. Come Holy Spirit and fill me up. Fill me anew. Fill me afresh with your power and your presence. Jesus, you are my Savior, you are my Lord, you are my King. I trust and I embrace you for all of my needs. In your name I pray. I thank you, Lord. You are everything to me. In your name, amen. Now, as the Holy Spirit moves in your life, be sure to share with others what he's done for you today. Be sure to share that. And after sharing with your friends, ask if you can pray with them for a new infilling of the Holy Spirit for their lives. Just continue the trajectory of the grace of God through Jesus coming into your life and then through their life. Just continue on that. Proclaim that Jesus in him has come the rule and reign and love of God. It comes to all those who believe. And proclaim that through Jesus, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit is available to all who believe. Well, that's it. Thanks for chasing truth with me on this beautiful matter. Please subscribe to this channel. Comment below. And if you have a chance, check out all of our social media at graftedin.com.